Croeso, Nosmetha, good evening and welcome to these fantastic surroundings of the Wales Millennium Centre here in Cardiff for this first ever SNET Awards. This evening marks the culmination of our search, which started in September, for organisations and individuals who illustrate the immense contribution our industry makes to Wales and the world through its talent, commitment, innovation and investment in the sustainable future. The SNET has also developed the Knowledge Vault, an exciting new online membership ben benefit to encourage local source and supply. The Knowledge Vault provides members with a researchable database of customers and suppliers who are looking to do business in Wales, Wales broken down in, into all the categories within the SNET footprint. The potential of this tool is huge in terms of business development and sourcing local suppliers. This is just the beginning. We aim to create a vault which we hope can be expanded across the aerospace and automotive sectors and associated vendors. I would like to say well done and thank you to all you who came forward to uh, apply. And I would say particularly well done and thank you for the hard work of my fellow judges. Each, each member of the judging panel put in quite a lot of effort to actually review all the submissions and come together on conference calls to actually conclude uh, winners for tonight. So, fellow judges, thank you very much. This award ceremony is a momentous occasion, not just for Estnet, but also the manufacturing and ICT industries in Wales as a whole. It's important that companies are recognised for their achievements, and I believe the spirit of competition will help companies in Wales establish themselves, not just on the UK stage, but also internationally. I urge businesses from across the country to engage with the SNET organisation in order to provide a cohesive voice for the industry and help shape its future through collaboration and shared knowledge. So tonight is a celebration. I would like to wish all the shortlisted companies and individuals the best of luck from everybody in Axiom. Now on with the awards. Now, the winner is someone who's considered an asset by his company with his excellent technical knowledge and communication skills. He constantly strives to innovate and bring cost effectiveness to his organisation. He is Warren James. Warren, congratulations. And the winner of this category is a company who has put green issues at the top of its agenda, bringing awareness to every part of its work, resulting in a 40% cut in carbon emissions. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this category is Axiom Manufacturing Services. Congratulations. Come and go. So, ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats for dinner. Now, the winners came together as part of a Wales-wide collaborative initiative. They agreed to work together in the best interests of the industry, sharing technological investment and finding the right solutions for each customer. And the winner is... Congratulations to Gwent Cables and Hayakawa. Now, the winner developed a product capable of providing high levels of power and data access within vehicles. This is a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Uh, be they military, like we saw on the screen, or emergency vehicles. Congratulations to General Dynamics. Please join us on the stage.
Now, the winner has grown year on year since 2011 in both turnover and the number of employees. That's been achieved by innovative processes through R&D, coupled with excellent customer and commercial focus. The winner is Axiom Manufacturing Services. Now, the winner was established in 1988. I could almost see if you put your hands up to guess for who it is. In 1988, and is now the world's leading supplier of advanced semiconductor wafer products. Congratulations to IQE.